Hi. How are you? How you feel? You good? Yeah, i right. Good. My name is Jamar Roberts. I am the resident choreographer for the Albany Lee American Dance Theater and the choreographer of Eminon in Two Movements. Music I use for Eminon is by a composer, Wayne Shorter. I think in general, I was looking for dancers that were quick. Um, a lot of my movement is very fast. Dancers that are really agile or have some sense of the musicality. It kind of helps to have dancers that can already be maybe a step a ahead of me sometimes. Yeah, and Emma also gives this like, like a longer feeling. I kind of like that for the music in that moment. Yeah, yeah, before you go. I think your response to music is very innate, and these dancers here just have it because of all of the awesome and complex music that Balanchine used in his work. I'm Jonathan Fahori. I'm a dancer with the New York City Ballet, and I originated a role in Eminon in two movements. Jamar was very clear that he wanted this solo to be introspective and not performative. So I'm not performing outwardly to the audience. It's an intimate experience within myself. The solo has more of a contemporary feel rather than strict ballet. I remember as I was making it, just giving more descriptive words of like, okay, here you're feeling really tense and really frozen, and now slowly you sort of sit into a hot bath and then, you know, your limbs just kind of melt into the floor. I tried to really encourage him to think less about being accurate and think more about stepping into his own interior world and just kind of moving and interpreting what's there just from his own headspace and his own imagination. When I used to watch in the fourth ring in the audience, my dream was to be able to be up on that stage moving in a piece of work that felt really organic to how I desire to move my body. Hi, everyone. That's all I got. I'm going to let it breathe. Now we're going to perform it. We're going to let it marinate. Thank you. Thanks, Jamar. What's that? Thank you. Jamar has given me the opportunity to kind of just tap into my natural instincts as an artist and to be confident and deliberate with those choices. I think it's a very proud moment for a lot of dancers and a lot of dance companies at this time with theaters and performances making this comeback. It's just a good feeling when you can just dance. Mm -hmm.